Hey there, Aries, welcome to your reading for the week of April 30th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what comes up for you. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a very quick week for you. Um, even before I started reading for you, I kind of got that feeling that it was going to be very quick and uh, needing to make like a lot of quick decisions and kind of jumping around and just doing a lot of things in general. So that is the message that you get as well. I wanted to, I, I want to check your bottom card as well, uh, the card on the bottom of the deck. I, I don't usually uh, read the bottom card uh, unless it's in a personal reading, um, and because uh, again, this usually just gives me details about the past. Uh, so again, for you, I will read it because I felt it. So. Uh, this card represents a lot of details coming to light for you, a lot of things kind of popping up into your head at this time. So again, even if you're watching this on Wednesday when I release these early, like a week early basically, uh, you know, again, you could be gathering a lot of details that lead to uh, a lot of busyness this week, a lot of stuff to do, uh, being very busy and uh, being very work busy as well. For most of you, it's probably work. For others of you, I feel like it could be pretty much anything else, you know, relationships, business, whatever, you know, coming into your life at this time. But this is also a card of uncovering details. It's a card called the book, and it can, again, just represent uncovering details, learning about things. Uh, I think that's your main focus is just like things coming to light at this time during this week. Uh, next, you show up, Jack of Clubs. So, uh, again, very good position and also very curious position as well. Uh, if I were you, I would be very curious this week. I feel like um, it is going to be kind of like a discovery week for you for the most part. Uh, like I said, a pretty straightforward week, So, uh, I, and, but it seems like very exciting as well. Next, four of clubs, again, your thoughts being in line with the truth, things kind of just pulling you along. I almost feel like a magnet, so um, again, I feel like maybe you will feel like a magnet this week or something, like things are just kind of dragging you along in some way, uh, although I think, you know, dragging sounds negative. I think it's like very positive. You're just like being very easily pulled into some sort of direction uh, this week. Again, for some of you, I feel like it could be something small, like just a relationship or, you know, a new idea. Uh, for others of you, it could be major, it could be like a total life change at this time, but again, I feel like there's a very strong pull for you this week, which I do feel like is a different feeling than you've had for uh, several weeks now. Next, you have the Six of Diamonds. You're on the right path. A uh, card of being very successful. Uh, I would say this is your only negative card here, and it's not even a negative card. Uh, it's just a card that says, do not allow your you know, feelings of inadequacy in a, any situation to stop you. Um, this can be like one of those things where um, it's, it's like, you know, I think that like, you know, for example, you know, a lot of you Aries might be like salespeople, for example. And, you know, I know like in sales, sometimes people, it's like if you're winning a lot, if you're getting a lot of sales or something, uh, it, it, your brain kind of kicks in. And you're like, okay, um, now I've like, I've sold too much and something bad has to happen now or the next one isn't going to work or something. So this card says no more limiting beliefs. And this card also says uh, open up. Uh, this card's been coming up a lot recently and yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of us just need to open up to situations as well. And I think also a lot of us just need to um, not put too much weight on the outcome of circumstances also. Um, and again, because I think that's the other thing that will pretty much stop people in their tracks right now is thinking like, you know, like in relationships, for example, I think that the thoughts that are popping into our head are things like, oh, this person has to be the one. So then if they're not absolutely perfect, uh, we never go through with the relationship. Uh, you know, this card sometimes says, hey, um, don't put too much into something like that or anything for that matter uh, because you could be you know avoiding something that you know over something really tiny that doesn't really matter so uh, don't do that next you have the uh, blank card so i always say make a wish and uh, finally we have the five of diamonds very good card for money and uh, again it looks like an awesome money week for you for sure and also with that eight of diamonds over there so there could be a lot of financial changes uh, raises, promotions, and things like that coming up for you at this time as well. Uh, but amazing card for starting new things and, uh, you know, kind of stepping off on a new path. Uh, but I would say your week is uh, looks amazing. Like I said, mostly focus on details, things that have come to light recently. And again, those things kind of being making you like a magnet, I would say, is your main message for this week. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.